Hey guys, what's up? This is Tyler with Select Photographics, and we are working on our first installment of the Director's Guide to Growing Your Photo Day program. So first of all, thanks so much for picking this up. Again, it's going to be totally free. Um, it's going to have a lot of great content for you, and uh, you know, let's let's really get right to it. So right down below, you have a link where you can download the entire Consumer's Guide. You can print it off, take notes, use it for whatever you might need to. Um, but in addition to that, there's going to be a video that's going to walk you through each section. Um, so let's just talk about those right now. So there's going to be a section today on the costly misconceptions of the photo day program. And then we're going to go on to the three dangers of choosing the wrong photographer and the four industry ripoffs and how to avoid them. And then we're going to talk about the mistakes to avoid when choosing a photographer. And ultimately what we're really doing here is we're learning how to create an organized, hassle-free, and fun photo day program. And we have what we call a photo day scorecard that's going to help you to do that. Again, everything we're going to talk about here is totally free, but it's going to give you a ton of information that's going to allow you to automate your photo day program, allow you to grow your photo day program, and ultimately allow you to, to get more money from your photo day program. So let's get right to it. So first of all, again, thank you so much. And you've taken your first steps and you're well on your way to putting your photo day program on autopilot and watching it grow. Now, I, I've got to give a little disclaimer here. This is not a sky is falling report. We're going to talk about some of the, the dirty parts of the photo industry, um, but that's not the intent here. I want to make sure that you fully understand everything there is to know about the photo day program, what your role can and should be, um, and really how easy photo day can ultimately be for you and your entire organization. So this report is going to help you to identify and hire the perfect photography company for your organization. Or if you're already working with a great photography company, it's going to help you to help them to improve the photo day program. And ultimately, we're going to prevent what could be a catastrophe for your photo day program and even your organization itself if you choose the wrong photographer or if they're just doing some things just slightly tweaked in a, in a negative way. There's lots of, of little tiny things that we can do to improve that, and you're going to learn all about those. So we're going to talk about the seven misconceptions of your photo day program. Let's get right to it. So the first one is that lines are just part of it. In fact, they're unavoidable. This could not be more false, okay? Lines are not part of it. They are 100% avoidable. All you have to do is staff it appropriately and make sure that your team knows exactly what they're supposed to do. If at any organized photo shoot, there's gonna be lines that are very clear for the, the parents and the coaches to know where to take the kids. As soon as they have their entire team ready to go, it should be a very efficient, quick process with no lines whatsoever. So number two, I, again, lines are just unacceptable. And number two, it just seems disorganized, okay? That, again, couldn't be more wrong. Photo day needs to be organized. It must be organized. And in order for it to be successful, it absolutely has to be organized. There needs to be a whole host of things that go into making it an organized process. Um, there should be people, we refer to them as wranglers, but it, it, it just needs to be someone who's in charge that can help the parents and the kids know what to do, where to go, what's, what to expect. Um, also, there needs to be pre-printed order forms and, and camera cards that tell the kids what to do so we're not waiting on parents to fill out order forms on photo day. That, nothing more, uh, more frustrating and, and a quicker way to cause lines than being dependent upon mom to fill out an order form because oftentimes she's going to arrive late and then she's going to be indecisive and now you just made the entire team wait on that. There's really simple ways to avoid that. Um, so if, if your team, if your photographer or your photo day program is not currently using pre-printed order forms and camera cards, that's something you definitely need to get implemented right away. So photo day must be organized. Photographers just don't get sports. This one's kind of frustrating to me. Most photographers, we get the bad rap of, of we're, we're photo nerds, we're art people. Um, your photographer, your sports photographer, should not be that. They should know and understand sports. In fact, they should love sports. And there's plenty of us out there that do. And the number four is that a camera and a money box is all the equipment you need. Again, completely false. There's a whole host of things that a, a quality photography company is going to bring with them. In fact, there's going to be a whole truckload of stuff that they bring. 
um, it, from tents to, to set up for the, the sales area um, to portable studios where they're going to shoot the individual pictures, um, backup equipment. Um, they're going to need flags and barriers to, to help direct the kids through the entire process. There's just so much that goes into it. Um, make sure that they're bringing more than just the money box. All right, number five is that photo day is a hassle everywhere. You know, it's just a necessary evil. All, all sports programs have to have a photo day, and it's just a pain. And that, that's just not right. Photo day can be really smooth. It can be uh, organized. It can be fun even, and, and, and it should be. And it, that's very easy to do. There's just simple steps that everyone needs to take into account, and, and that can be done. All photographers are the same. A picture is a picture. Again, not true. Uh, what I would suggest is that you find a, a company that meshes well with your organization, and, and there's lots of us out there. We vary enormously. There are some, some companies that are just getting started. There's others that have been around for decades. And then there is a lot somewhere in between there. And, and it's not necessarily good to be new or to be old, um, but you just need a company that's going to mesh well with you. And number seven is photo distribution and scheduling is the league's responsibility. Wrong. That is not the league's responsibility. That's the photographer's responsibility. We are the ones making the money from this. We are the ones that should be doing all of the scheduling, all the distribution. You should not have to do that. You have plenty of stuff to do with your normal work, you don't need to be doing my work as well. Um, and that's the case with all photographers. So if you are one of the few that's out there that's helping the photographer in scheduling or helping the photographer distribute the pictures, you need to stop that. That's just, that's too much work that's not yours. Uh, the photographer should gladly take that on. So that was our seven misconceptions. Um, let me tell you just a little bit about our photo day scorecard system. And, and you're going to see this a little bit later on, a little revealed a little bit more in-depthly. But we have a, a photo day scorecard system. It's a $97 program that's guaranteed to identify three areas for improvement and offer easy-to-implement improvement strategies to growing your photo day program. But we're going to do that absolutely free for you. Um, if you click below and, and schedule now, we're going to give you the next seven days to get scheduled. Um, we only have enough time to do this for a few leagues. Um, but we are more than happy to do this with, with yours. Um, if you would go click below, you can get scheduled. It's only going to be about a 30, 45 minute conversation. We'll, we'll meet you. We'll have some coffee. Um, and, and ultimately, we're going to learn how to grow your photo day program. We're going to look for the, the areas that need improvement. We'll identify those and we'll give you some strategies to actually do that. So you can do that right now. Click below and you can get scheduled up. Um, and then we'll be back to you in about a week or so uh, with the, the next step. And we look forward to talking to you. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call. And again, thanks so much for getting your director's guide to growing your photo day program. We look forward to talking to you.